being entrepreneur also means you have to be a leader. And a leader has to tell people that you can achieve the impossible. And I think my mom can do that. A fishbone proved to be the impetus for Ng Yi Xian to join his mother in running the Eaton House Education Group. A hedge fund analyst based in the US, Mr. Ng was back in Singapore one Christmas when his mom, Mrs. Ng Kim Chu, swallowed a fishbone. He had to rush her to hospital. The incident made him think, what would be the fate of Eaton House if something were to happen to her? So soon after, in 2015, he joined the company she started and he's now slated to take over the business. I'm having lunch with mother and son at the Gong at your gallery. Over a Hokkien mee, squid and a meat platter, they share what it's like working with family. How did you come to take over the business rather than your siblings? I think deep down inside, I felt that it was in a way my fate. <laughs> and, uh, but it was very distant. So I, I felt that I, I wanted to learn how to invest. So I became an investment banking analyst. I realized that that didn't teach me anything about learning how to invest. Then I went to work for a hedge fund and I learned how to invest there. But then I think uh, there was a certain point where I realized that I don't think this is what I want to do. And that's where I was back in Singapore. My mom swallowed a fishbone and so I brought her to the emergency room. And I think that experience made me realize, A, I want to come back home and B, if something happens to my mother, what happens to the entire organization? I should swallow fishbone a lot earlier. <laughs> but yeah, it was the 20 hour flight back to America and uh, I told my boss then, I said I'm giving you one year's notice, uh, I'd like to leave after one year. So uh, luckily my mom waited for me for a year. What are the dynamics like at work? My mom is uh, my boss at work and then at home she's my mom and uh, I, I make the fall part of at work calling my mom, mom. Most people in my position will call mom Mrs. Ng at work but I find it hard to do. Respect is important. If there's something we feel doesn't work out well, I think we find a time to talk. But so far, so far so good. Only when he initially, first, uh, first three months when he joined, uh, so he made a decision which I strongly disagree. So I say, son, you know, how about uh, the decision you make will have some consequences. Of course, we work it through. So, several months later, he said, Mom, you're right. So, I think in the process, we understand each other. Uh, but it's always a different approach. It was about school fees. I wanted to give people, uh, I guess, more of a pathway. And then uh, the, the reality is there's something that's very hard to commit to very early on because you don't know what unforeseen things can happen to you. Because she's my mother, I, I have opportunities to, in private, share with her that uh, feedback both ways. And my mom was do the same thing likewise to me. And it's because I mean, we want both of us to succeed. But it's quite special. Yeah. Was he a difficult child to raise? No, he was very easy, very independent. Very imp I felt very guilty when he was in primary four, I started Ethan House. So he said he's going to his friend's house for tea. I said, I can't take you. And he took a bus. You remember? I can't remember this, Jonathan. That. He took a bus. He said, I found the address. I walked there. Yeah, after that, I walk out and took a bus home. <laughs> I was impressed, you know. He always uh, find his way. And um, from young, very sensible. I remember he was only four years old. He was playing with an uh, elder son. Then there was a car coming. Straight away, he went and push up. I said, car is coming, dangerous. This boy is very special, very sangmok. What drives you? In life, I feel one never stops learning. And um, so if I want to do something, I want to do it well. There are a lot of people offering me a doctorate in education, right? I said, no, if I'm doctorate, I want to be on my own, married, that I know that feel very well. But people ask me, but I cannot use money to buy the degree. So I suppose it's a, it's a sense of achieving. People, you know, when you do something, you feel good. Right, you learn a new knowledge. So if I have time, I will want to continue to finish my EDD. How would you describe your mom? So people have called my mother the chief emotional officer. And the reason why is because she works with her husband, her brother and her son. Living together is already hard, but working together 
is another level of like uh, difficulty. We're able to agree to disagree. And uh, yeah, my mom is cognizant of our emotions. We all have our own red zones, our own good times, bad times. And maybe it's because my mom's a trained preschool teacher that she can understand that in each of us. To be an entrepreneur, you have to believe in the impossible. And being an entrepreneur also means you have to be a leader. And a leader has to tell people that you can achieve the impossible. And I think my mom can do that. People do their best work under my mom. And uh, it's not always a comfortable journey because uh, sometimes people don't like it because if you don't know what your boss is going to say, there's this uncertainty. But no, I think that's what makes the group continuously evolve and continuously grow. Thank you very much for having lunch. Yeah. Oh, thank you.